this is a short preview of the lecture video on the topic fetal abdomen technique protocol and normal appearance available on the ultrasound educational website www.sonoshare.in this is only a very short preview of the long lecture running for about 45 minutes short snippets of the various parts of the lecture video will follow having gone through the preview if you wish to listen to the main lecture video go to sonoshare.in now the guidelines most of the abdomen so these are the um, uh, parameters the cord insertion and axial scan of the kidneys so these are the axial sections uh, to be uh, taken and these are uh, made a complete uh, continuous sweep not individual sections and then the lower abdomen 90 degrees to that then you get the coronal section this is the technique to take the coronal section so that is the uh, video show the iota and the ivc the liver as shown outlined by the uh, line and the spleen posterior lateral to the stomach and then we concentrate on the umbilical portal vein the umbilical vein enters the abdomen through the umbilicus and then extends in a posterocephalic uh, term, um, made out in the with the conventional probe and you also see the card insertion into the fetus so that is the card insertion you can put on color to confirm the card insertion coming to the kidneys axial scan of the kidneys of renal capsule perinephric pad of fat gyrotus fascia parietal peritoneum morrison's pouch and visceral peritoneum and the liver capsule so all these layers are kind of the kidney i'll uh, illustrate with the adult kidney which is uh, better appreciated so here you see the sagittal on the left side coronal on the right side now this is the schematic showing the sagittal sign of the kidney and that is how it appears on ultrasound so you see the parenchyma all round whereas in coronal scan the section is taken along the plane of the kidney this is in bridge presentation so here you see an example of uh, using the endovaginal uh, probe in a case of oligomnias you see there is no fluid and it's a breach presentation and um, the urinary bladder was not seen and uh, balloons out so that is you should not measure the external pelvis it should be measured at the where the pelvis exits so that is how it should be measured that is the technique of correct technique of measuring the uh, filled structure with the umbilical arteries um, skirting around it and when you put on the color doppler you see the two umbilical arteries skirting around the urinary bladder so this is uh, a technique to identify uh, and see the uh, umbilical arteries as well as for confirming that the urinary blood abdomen and the uh, iliac bone and in the abdomen you will see three fluid filled structures uh, one is the uh, fluid stomach bubble in the left upper abdomen and then the urinary bladder in the midline lower abdomen and the gallbladder in the right upper abdomen so these are the three fluid filled or cystic structures in the coronal scan of the fetal abdomen which is normal if you see an additional uh, fluid fill and it is it's not a, an abnormal finding and usually we don't comment on it in the report there is increased incidence of uh, gastric pseudomas when there is bowel obstruction ventral abdominal wall defects or epidermolysis bullosa uh, uh, seen and occasionally when um, that is serpiginous echogenic loop seen in the head. occasionally you may see a fluid filled bowel loop in the abdomen when it is seen it should not be more than 7 mm in it with redundancies and turns and near term uh, the colon may be filled with echogenic meconium as seen here and it should not be mistaken for echogenic bubble and the diameter is uh, normal is up frequencies it should be seen 
and it should be seen without harmonics and it should have similar echogenicity to bones. So, you must decrease the gain uh, so that you see only the bones association between fetal abdomen and poly and uh, amniotic fluid volume. So, to complete um, we, the adrenal glands can also be seen this is the axial scan above the level of the kidneys you see the stuff. So, above the level of kidneys you see the adrenals as echo poor oval structures on either side of the spine with central echogenic area and uh, that is adrenal and in coronal scan you see echogenic bubble as seen here. The combination is uh, gives a very high risk for cystic fibrosis. So, when you see both together the, the invasive test and uh, gen genetic diagnosis I mean investigation to rule out cystic fibrosis has to be done. So, this was a case of non scalp gallbladder with echogenic bubble which turned out to be cystic fibrosis on genetic testing. Thank you for your attention.